Okay, so the next episode of Star Trek The Next Generation is called Unnatural Selection. And this is a Dr. Pulaski episode, so Pulaski haters be warned. Uh, so Dr. Pulaski is a really awesome doctor, and I think that has nothing to do with the... I don't know what's happening at the beginning, but they get called to a planet. Dr. Pulaski um, and Captain Picard go, and everyone, because they're moving on a starship, they all go to this, like, I think it's a research facility or... A, it's a, maybe it might be a space station and on it everyone is like oh my gosh we're dying of old age even though we're not very old and this is like also a rehash of a plot from the original series so you know it's good um so the the people are very are very old and you know she the woman who comes on the screen at, at the beginning she's like Looks to be about like in her 60s or something. And she's like, yeah, I know I look like I'm in, the, I'm in my 60s, but I'm totally like 30 or something. But Picard's not convinced because women lie about their age all of the time, even in the 24th century. So then the, what else is on the planet or space station or wherever they are, um, are these children. Um... They, that are like, they're sort of like grown teenage children who are clones. And that's what this research facility is all about. They are making these amazing teenagers who have special powers. They don't really, they don't talk, but they communicate telepathically. Because I think you, you don't have to pay them as much if they don't have speaking roles. And they, they can like move objects with their mind. And like, they use that ability to play chess with each other while the old people watch. And everyone, and the, they're like, you know, you can just, they're all in quarantine watching this, like, because they can't, they can't watch, they can't like go and touch these people because then they'll get super old because they're super old. So they're in quarantine somehow. And they're like, our the children, they are immune because they have super antibodies and they are like so good at fighting off illnesses. So they will never ever age like ever. So they won't even age, let alone like contract this random aging disease. Like, so what I need you to do, Dr. Pulaski, I know you're the best. You are the best. No other doctor is the best other than you. Can you cure our disease? And she's like, sure, no problem. And somehow she decides that the way to cure this disease is to examine one of the young people, uh, in this case, a young man who doesn't talk, but you can tell by Dr. Pulaski going, yes, 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 that he definitely is communicating with her telepathically but whatever he's saying is not that important. Anyway, Do um, Captain Picard is like, Dr. Pulaski, even though we've only known you for a few episodes, we really care about you. And we don't want you to contract a horrible old age illness and die. So could you please, like, not, like, expose yourself to this virus? And she's like, no problem, no problem. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in a shuttlecraft and then I'm going to beam the guy over to the shuttlecraft. And then when the, and then, oh, I, then I will take him out of, of like a, his plastic wrap and I won't get exposed to the virus because he doesn't have the virus. So it'll be so no problem. And then I'll cure everything and it'll be great. And so they're like, great. So, of course, immediately, why, um, Dr. Blasky, oh, like, beams the guy on board the ship, the, the shuttlecraft, peels off the plastic wrap with, like, computers, and then immediately gets exposed to the virus. 
And she's like, darn it! So now she has to go back, down. she has to go down to the planet. And she is like, dying, da 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 dying. And she gets mega old lady makeup. You don't even like, she has like so much old lady makeup, she looks even older than she does normally. So, and she's like, don't worry about me. And Picard's like, we really care about you, even though we've only known you for a few episodes. I'm so sad that you are going to die. And he, and they're like, you know what? I have the cure of this disease. All you have to do is beam using your old pattern, and then we can, like, reset you back to youth. Which is something I think they should do anyway, so maybe, like... If you get starting to get on in years, you get if you have a wrinkle here, you just go, you go, you have your your uh, pattern from when you were 20 on file, and you just wham bam, thank you, ma'am. But there's a problem because Dr. Pulaski does not have a pattern on file because she always uses shuttlecraft. She loves shuttlecraft. She hates transporters. <clears throat> so. While Doctor, while they're trying to figure out where the heck they can find her pattern, they are they um, she's trying to cure the disease, and what she figures out is the children are not immune to the disease; they are the cause of the disease. So they're like super antibodies that work on their super great immune system go floating up into the sky. And they become airborne and make everyone else age and die. Which makes perfect sense if Dr. Pulaski explains it, but not as much sense if I try to explain it. So, because Dr. Pulaski's a better doctor than I am. Because I'm not a doctor. Finally, they're like, I got an idea. Picard is the, has the idea, I think. And uh, he talks to Data and Mr. O'Brien, who runs the transporter. Shout out to DS9 fans. And uh, he's like, uh, so you don't couldn't find a pattern? And they're like, nope. And he's like, how about if we just get a sample of her DNA and then we use that somehow to beam her back to life? And they're like, yeah, that sounds like a great idea that you didn't totally just pull out of your butt. And then, so they're, they go to um, Dr. Pulaski's quarters and start rummaging through her things until they find a hairbrush that has a hair on it. And they're like, sweet, let's go. And so they take the, the single hair from the hairbrush and they give it to Chief O'Brien, who somehow makes it into something. And then they're able to beam Dr. Pulaski back on board the ship. And she looks just as old as she did before she got the old age makeup. And that is the end of Unnatural Selection. Bye.